All right, well, some of Kylie Jenner's latest Instagram posts are raising concerns among her followers. She's been giving fans a peek at the fitness routine she does at the gym and showing off her figure, but the most recent videos had the comments flowing. Yeah, some people made remarks about her weight loss. Others are concerned that some women would think they could look like Kylie if they follow her routine. Well, now some are saying celebrities need to be more transparent about what they post online and how they actually get fit. Yeah, well, joining us now to talk more about this celebrity trainer and wellness expert, Jill Charton. Jill, thanks for being with us this afternoon. Thank you so much for having me. All right, so we want a dose of reality mm -hmm. in all this because you yeah. see you see that and you're like, okay, if that's on a take, uh, celebs like Kylie have <laughs> access to everything, personal trainers, mm -hmm. chefs, uh, people that are doing shopping for them, all sorts of things. So how does somebody who leads a normal life uh, adapt something like that for themselves? I think the first step that we need to do is stop with the comparison game because honestly, whenever we start comparing ourselves to other people, especially celebrities, it's just going to set us up for failure and honestly, a bit of a disappointment too. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the science behind it all. Genetics, age, they definitely have a lot to do with this too. So how come Kylie's fitness routine simply just won't work for everyone? So let's look at the fitness routine that she actually posted. There are three different exercises. The first exercise was an outer thigh workout or a leg abduction. The second one that she posted, and I'm talking about the one that she posted on TikTok, was the second one was a sled push, which is a great exercise. And the third one is she did a little selfie and she was walking on the treadmill. So all three, all three exercises, great for the lower body. However, that's just not her only routine that she does. Mm -hmm. So something that we need to take away is those exercises are all great. We also don't need a gym to perform and work those same muscle groups as we do in you know, some kind of bougie gym, right? So mm -hmm. it's one of those things where if we just bring the science behind it, honestly, and look at the anatomy, like we could do so many exercises without having a personal trainer, how, without having you know, a gym, really, so. Yeah, and staying in, mo you know, we did a study, I think, last week, and it was like, get out, you know, walk 10 minutes, 20 minutes a day, and that makes a huge difference, the consistency of it. Um, so we're, yes. we're constantly scrolling online. We see videos, we see images like this. It can be hard uh, not to get discouraged. So how do people uh, get a little more confident in their own skin? So one thing I do want to note, you know, whether you see a celebrity posting and they seem confident, that's great, right? That's the ultimate goal is we want to be confident and we want to be confident within ourselves. But when, like I said before, it starts into the whole comparison game and you start to feel like, oh, the people that I'm following, how do they make you feel? So focus on that. You know, maybe you should unfollow them or maybe you should just take a break from social media because mental health is huge and mental health is a big thing to right now that affects everything. So mm -hmm. one thing that I would say and definitely recommend is don't, don't compare yourself to anyone else. Compare yourself to you. And when you put that time towards yourself, I promise you, you will become the most confident, best version of yourself. Yeah, because looking at those images, those videos, it definitely can be intimidating. So what's your best advice for people who truly want to be more fit, uh, not just because they want to look like a celebrity or an influencer on Instagram, but, you know, what can they do? It's probably a combination of things to truly be successful. Huh? It really is, too, and I think at times when we think about nutrition, a lot of people think about so much on training and working out, but not on the nutrition aspect. So that is a huge part of it. I've been training for 12 years. I've trained an array of personalities. And listen, every client that comes in, I say, what's your short-term goal? What's your long-term goal? And at the end of the day, the number one key component is consistency, because when we're consistently putting in that time, and listen, here's the thing, 4% out of 4% is one hour, right? So if you take one hour out of 24 hours, that's 4%. When you take 4% and put it towards yourself, I promise you, you will become the best version of yourself. So when you just put in those daily deposits, I, I like I said, it will you will become be the best version of yourself. I so agree, and it becomes a habit too. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you're not it doing does. it, you, you, it becomes a habit. That's the most important thing. Uh, Jill, nice mm -hmm. to talk to you. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. All right. For more fitness tips, you can always follow Jill on Instagram at Jill Charton. Check it out there.